South Pole looking for more. Now they zip across America to check out the scenes, and they want to see you travel to the summer to see. The ultimate penguin adventure screen. Touch on Z. In Washington, D.C., the National Air and Space Museum. Welcome to Washington, D.C. Travelers. Opened on the National Mall in 1976, the year of the U.S. Bicentennial. It's the most visited museum in the United States, and you'll love the free admission. Today, we explore the National Air and Space Museum with our parachuting twin penguins, Cha-Cha and Z. Thanks, Captain Polly Bear. I love skydiving, and I've waited so long to come to the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. What, where birds like us can learn about flight and the science behind it? Don't worry, Z. I'll show you. Let's go. Aren't we birds? Flying is natural for us, right? Again, our wings are for swimming. Z, why would we buy plane tickets in the first place? Frequent flyer miles? Mm. No, wait. Can you even imagine what would have happened had we not used those parachutes? Cha-cha. Yes? I am so hungry for pancakes right now. <laughs> Z! I don't know, but here comes Polly. Hold on to your pancakes, penguins. You're about to witness the OG of aeronautic awesomeness, the world-famous 1903 Wright Flyer. No, that's the wrong flyer. But this is the 1903 Wright Flyer. Invented by the brothers Wilbur and Oval Wright after years of development, their first flight was on December 17, 1903 in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. On that cold, windy winter day, the brothers warmed themselves next to the fire with hot cocoa. Mmm, yeah, cocoa Yum. and sardines on the beach. Uh, no, just cocoa. Anyway, and they found time to take four flights in their airplane. Orville first for 12 seconds and 120 feet, then Wilbur for 175 feet, then Orville again for 200 feet, and finally, Wilbur for 59 seconds and 852 feet. Uh, hold up, everybody. If the longest flight was not even a minute and only 260 meters, just over two football fields, then why was this so important? I mean, Polly's plane went way farther than that. Great question, Z. This was the first sustained, controlled, powered, heavier-than-air manned flight. Whoa! So this was the first time humans flew! Well, actually, Z, the Wright brothers flew in 1903. But way back around the year 500 BC, people were flying kites in China. Fast forward to the 1700s in Europe, and people were flying manned hot air balloons. And gliders in the 1800s in both Europe and the United States. Ah, oh, I got it. So all of that led us up to this, the world's first successful airplane flight. Yeah, that's the ticket! <laughs> Hey, can you smell that? Is it pancakes? No, I think I smell invention. 